So some of my programs include resisted sprinting, and I got a question on Instagram asking about this. Um, this person asked if the resisted sprints are going to have a negative impact on their sprinting technique. And the resisted sprints are typically sprinting with a sled behind you or even sprinting with a prowler out in front of you. But the short answer to the question of whether or not the resisted sprints are going to have a negative impact on your sprinting technique is no. So here's what I'll say about the topic is that, yeah, there might be some different motor patterns involved and maybe some subtle or even maybe not so subtle changes in movement strategies while running with a load compared to running unloaded. But the resisted sprints might inherently cue efficient force application to propel your body in the intended direction. And simply put, just encourage greater horizontal force application. And the external load forcing the body to lean forward encourages maximal propulsive forces. And on another note to this is that if you grant the premise that resisted sprints can negatively affect your sprinting mechanics, you would have to be doing significantly more resisted sprints than unresisted sprints for the effects to manifest. But if you're already sprinting a lot and training and playing your sports, there's not going to be any sort of negative effects from it.